MySQL Dataflows is a tool for data professionals to write SQL, prepare data for analysis, and build cards, all within Domo. In this video, we're going to transform data from two sources into one dataset, so we can make a card with information from both. Let's get started. To create a MySQL data flow, click Data, and then select SQL from the Transform ribbon. This will open up our authoring environment. The first thing we need to do is give our data flow a name. We'll call it Forecast and Sales. We'll add a description to further clarify what this data flow is for. Next, we need to select Input Datasets. To do this, we'll click Select Dataset, search for the dataset we want, select it, and then click Choose Dataset. We have two inputs to select. The first is Sales, and the second is Forecast. Once selected, we can see how many rows exist in the dataset and how many rows are loaded into the preview. By default, it will only load the first 10,000 rows of a dataset, but we can change that here. If we click into the dataset, we can see what columns are selected. If needed, we can deselect a column here. If we accidentally remove a column we want to include, we just need to click Add Column. We can assign indexes to columns here and preview the input dataset here. You'll notice that our preview doesn't include batch ID because we deselected it in the first tab. Once an input dataset is loaded, we can add one of two transform types to this data, either table or SQL transforms. A table transform will create a table from the select statement we write. A SQL transform is generally a more complex data manipulation that doesn't require a select statement. In this case, we want to summarize the transactions in my sales dataset to roll up to a monthly level, so we'll choose table. So we'll write out our select statement, and notice as we start typing, there is an autocomplete feature which you can hit the tab button to complete. We can use any of the available MySQL functions, such as a last day date function. Give that column an alias, and sum up the transaction amount by month. At the bottom, we can click Run SQL and get a preview of the changes. We can also get an explained plan by clicking the dropdown. Quick indexing is also available on table transforms. We could index one of the output columns from this transform so that when we apply the changes for that table transform, we see it show up as one of the steps. Now that the sales dataset is aggregated, we'll add another table transform to join the two datasets. We want all columns from our sales dataset and the forecast column from our forecast table. We will choose our sales dataset as the main table that we're joining on in the from statement and then use a left join to combine both datasets based on the date column. Let's run the preview within this transform to make sure that it joined correctly. And we can see that our table has all the data from our sales dataset in addition to our forecast column. We can continue adding transforms as needed by clicking the Add Transform button, or we can click the wrench icon to add a transform above or below a specific step. This is useful if we realize we need to add transforms between existing transforms. If we do so, we can use the Run to Here function within the Wrench menu, or we can click Run Preview to run all transforms within the data flow. The last step is to create an output. In this case, we'll call it Forecast Sales by Month. This brings up another table transform that we can use to tidy up our data before using it to create visualizations in Domo. We'll select all columns from the last transform and click Apply. We've now created a MySQL data flow and we can now choose when this data flow runs by clicking Settings. It can run manually, on a schedule, or when any of the datasets update. We can also toggle Strict Mode, which will enforce constraints and set the privacy so that only owners and administrators can edit this data flow. We'll now save and run this data flow and give it a version description, noting any major changes we make. We'll click Save and Run one more time and the data flow will begin to execute. With MySQL data flows, you can easily transform and combine data from multiple sources into one dataset, all within Domo.